what's going on YouTube, Make Electric. Uh, I'm here to tell you about 2012 KP4. We have another near-Earth asteroid that's going to be a close call. Uh, today is May 25th, 2012. This is the JPL orbit diagram for 2012 KP24. The current condition code is 8. Uh, the condition code factor 1 being highly certain, 9 being highly uncertain orbit. This is an 8. So this is a highly uncertain orbit asteroid. Um, it's Space weather has it as 26 meters, nothing big. Um, the only way that this would be a problem is if it if it came in and it didn't burn up in the atmosphere and it hit a populated area, which is highly unlikely. So this video is just for information only. Just a heads up. Uh, let's see. Space weather has this thing coming in May 28th, 2012 at 0.1 lunar distance. 0.1. That's, that's pretty close. Um, and then we had to remember the condition code is 8, so it's highly uncertain. Uh, let me take the planet label object label off and let's fast forward the JPL I'll put links to all this stuff below 26 27 28 now I actually have on the 28th it says the earth distance is 00, 0 I'm sorry 0 0.0046 AU and on the 29th it comes in as 0 0.0029 AU so between the 28th and the 29th um, is when this thing is going to be closest to earth and as you can see, it has a highly tilted, uh, there's the ecliptic. Uh, again, JPL diagram is not the best uh, by any means, but you can see where the dark blue lines and the light blue lines come together. That's where it uh, crosses the Earth's ecliptic, and they are just perfect by way of this diagram. Like I said, this thing is not not perfect by any means. We've definitely seen this before, but no matter which way you twist it you can see this one's uh, this one's going to be a close call so I'll put the information below, I'll put the link to uh, Space Weather just scroll down to where it says 2012 KP24 I'll put the JPL orbit diagram, you could bring this up and check all of the data current condition code is 8 uh, again nothing to be alarmed about, just heads up uh, even if it did come in it would probably burn up uh, if it didn't burn up, it would have to hit a populated area to be any factor. If it lands in the ocean, I don't think we had a problem. So, just a heads up, 2012 KP24 coming in in a couple days. Keep an eye on it. You guys have a great weekend. Talk at you. Later.